Hey everyone, Roger here from NASCAR Experts YouTube channel. I want you to guess what this might be. I have an alligator clip attached to a wire and I have a soldered wire here. You can see that this is just a piece of copper that's cut. Any idea what this could be? This is a homemade tool so that you can check for misfire diagnosis and verify that you have correct spark. So we're going to do some misfire diagnosis and verify spark on the M54 engine I have behind me. Now this tool right here is, works really well if you have a small engine to test or if you're trying to make sure that you have good spark on your chainsaw and you don't really have a good spot to ground. So this actually, this tool is actually perfect for that. But this tool right here is even better for BMWs. This is an inline spark checker and it's not a very expensive tool. And it's nice because it has a nice long cable. It has this adapter right here. What's, what's nice about this is it flashes at you instead of having a live spark. If there was fuel vapors or anything with this, you could actually cause an explosion. So be careful if you actually try to use something like this because you are inducing a spark outside of the vehicle. But stay tuned because we're gonna try it out. Now for the purpose of this video, I did disable my fuel pump by pulling the two fuses right here on this Z3 M54. The fuses for the fuel pump are 13 and 18, so it's right here in this fuse panel. All right, so to check spark, we do need to access a coil. So we're basically, we want to see if the engine computer is firing correctly. It is not uncommon for the engine computer to have the internal driver fail and not be able to induce the spark correctly to your coil. Just so you know, it is way more common for the coil itself to be faulty than the engine computer, but I have seen technicians get burned because they are not checking for spark. They check everything else, they assume they have good spark, but they've never checked it. And the only way to prove out that it is a problem with the engine computer is to check for spark and then check your wiring between your connector and your engine computer. If the wiring is good, and you've already swapped your coils, now you know that your DME or your engine computer is faulty. All right, back to misfire diagnosis. So what do we need to have correct combustion? We need air, spark, and fuel, and compression, of course. So there are some things to watch out for. If I had a multiple misfire, all of my cylinders or multiple cylinders are misfiring, and I had a mixture to lean fault, it could actually just be from an unmetered air leak. But if I had cylinder two is misfiring, only cylinder two, and all the other cylinders are firing correctly, well, then I most likely have something directly going on with that one cylinder. I may even have cylinder two and cylinder five. And again, that's just two cylinders in two different banks. Basically, bank one is one, two, and three, and bank two would be four, five, and six. So one thing to really take note of is to number all of your coils so that you know which ones were where when you start, so you can keep track of the faulty coil. Again, if this was multiple misfires, the first thing I would do would be to smoke test the intake and check and take care of any unmetered air leaks. Let's just say we did that. Also, with multiple misfire, I may want to check fuel pressure. Let's just say on this particular engine, I already have checked fuel pressure and I have 3.5 bar, and I know that's perfect for this M54. So one of the most basic things you can do before you need to buy anything like this fancy spark tester is you can swap the coil. So I have a misfire in cylinder three. I want to move it. I don't really want to move it to four. We can use it as our example, but I want to take out cylinder three coil. Obviously, we're going to want to inspect it and to check our wiring. Connection looks good here. Take a look at the boot. Do you have any defects in the boot? Everything looks good. Is it full of oil or uh, any fuel which can actually make the boot swell? If everything looks fine, then what you should do, an easy step would be to swap it with another cylinder. So I would just take another cylinder. Now, if I was chasing cylinder three, maybe cylinder one would be the one I'd want because I want it farther away. Go ahead and install that coil. Do that coil swap. Put everything together, clear your codes, 
drive it and see if the misfire moves. The misfire moves, you've already solved it. You know you have a faulty coil, go ahead and replace your coil. If the misfire does not move, now we have to continue diagnosis of that specific cylinder. Now while you might wanna just jump into compression and everything, you know what, take a look at the spark plug. It's probably a good idea to take a look at the spark plug and see what condition it is. Now in many cases, the coil is gonna be the culprit. So once you swap that coil, you're gonna verify that the coil is bad and then you can go ahead and purchase a new coil. Um, if you're stopping now, please remember to hit like and subscribe to Ask Car Experts YouTube channel. Hitting like really does help me out and I'd love to hear the comments and let me know if a coil fixed your particular vehicle. But let's continue diagnosis, assuming the coil swap proved that the misfire stayed in the cylinder that's causing the problem. And remember, we're going to try out this crazy little homemade tool that you could make very easily at home. Alright, let's pull the spark plug out and take a look. So part of your normal steps would be to check your spark plug. I don't know if you guys can see that. I mean, this spark plug realistically does not look great at all. It is all black and wet because this engine has improper combustion. The improper combustion is actually leaving a deposit on the spark plug. It is not burning cleanly and efficiently. This spark plug needs to be replaced. So if your spark plug looks this bad and it's all black, I would probably replace it. Or again, the next step would be to swap one from a cylinder that is not misfiring. So I can take my plug from cylinder one, put it into cylinder three, put it all together, and find out if the spark plug is my issue. Now, if I still have a misfire in cylinder three, we're gonna have to continue diagnosis, and that's when this tool is gonna come in handy. So we're gonna go ahead and use the tool first, and let's pop this back in. We're gonna set that up to use the inline spark tester. I'll show you how to use it, it's very simple. Using this inline spark tester is super easy. I'm gonna put a link up in the corner here in case you wanna pick one of these up from Amazon. Purchasing it from Amazon does help me out. So it's that easy, you take your adapter and you can see on a BMW, we do need this long adapter. So I'm going to slide that down, lock that in. Now I need to hook up my light so the light end just plugs right into that. All right, so now what do I do with this? You actually have to install the coil onto the wiring. So I'm just going to plug this in. So now I'm attached to the body harness right here. And they give you enough to go ahead and push that in. Got to pull this sleeve back. It's not quite enough to get onto that coil there. All right, that felt better. There we go. So that does move, makes it a little bit easier because I want to make sure I have a nice positive fit. All right, there we go. Now we're ready. So now I'm going to crank the engine over and you guys are going to watch right here to see if we have spark. All right, everyone, we're ready to test and see if we have spark using the spark tester. And this really is one of the best tools to have. I'm going to go over and crank the engine over. So this is a really great tool to have if you have a BMW and you need to verify 100% that you're getting spark to a specific cylinder. So I would highly recommend this. Again, I'll put a link uh, either before or now or at the end of this video if you wanna pick one of these up. Now, let's move on to the old school method and try this crazy little tool out right here. All right, so we have to take a spark plug out. And if you weren't getting spark and you verified that everything else was good, you'd want to check your wiring between your connector and your inch computer. And that would be how you'd verify that your inch computer is at fault. Now, if you want to make one of these, we're going to try this out and see how well it works. And just be a fun little experiment here. Now, the spark plugs wet with not fuel, but really the oil that I put in to do the wet test. But the way that this works right here is this copper piece that's cut out is going to hold the spark plug just like that. 
pretty cool. And then this is your ground right here. So you just have to attach this to a good ground. And now this is grounded and ready to go. So we should be able to watch the spark. Now I still need to set this up the same way. So this little jumper is gonna allow me to go ahead and seat the spark plug into the coil enough. And actually it should float just like that. That should be perfect. Right, and I don't want to be anywhere near holding on to this or else you're going to get bit. So I have my ground just going to the ground that's going for the main coils right here. We'll be able to fire this and see what we can see cranking it over. Now I might have to dim the light or shut the light off, but we'll try it like this and see what happens. Let's fire this up. So that's how you check for spark and to verify whether you have an issue with your spark plug, your coil, or your engine computer. Very simple and a couple of great tools that you can use and even one that you can make at home to make things easier for you to diagnose a weird misfire that you might have on your BMW. I hope you found this helpful everybody. Please remember to like and subscribe to Ask Car Experts YouTube channel. Liking really does help, it, help me out. So I'd appreciate it if you smash that like tab if you haven't already. If you have, I really appreciate it. So which one of these would you choose to check for spark? Are you gonna make a homemade one or pick up one of these which works great on BMWs? It's a great tool to have if you need to check and verify you have spark, if you've already swapped your coils and you still have a misfire in a specific cylinder, it's always a great idea to have an inline spark checker at home to help you diagnose your car. I want to say thanks for watching everyone. Please subscribe to Ask the Car Expert YouTube channel. Let me know in the comment section what have you done in the past to check for spark when you've been chasing down a difficult misfire. I'd love to hear from you guys and I will talk to you soon. Until next time. Take care, everybody.